Okay, uh, Enzo Lopes, Glendale, another positive uh, event for you, fifth overall. Showed good speed, came back well in the first main event. Um, and yeah, this thing's just going in a really, really good direction. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a good night, but not so good at the same time. My starts were terrible. Obviously, with the restart, I was fifth, and it's unfortunate for Styles. I hope he's doing okay, but uh, restart and then it crashed. <laughs> And then, yeah, well, I came from last to seventh, but I could have gotten to fifth, but I, the last three laps I was done. And I got super pumped up, so I should probably work on a better warm up before Moto 1. But yeah, Moto 2 and Moto 3, I came from the back to fifth and fourth. And especially the last one to keep up with RJ and Kitchen was, it was good, you know, but uh, this track was pretty simple. Everyone was doing the same thing, so you'd have to kind of wait and be patient for someone to make a mistake like uh, Pierce did on the last one and then pass him. But uh, yeah, still uh, P5 on the day and uh, a year ago I'd be super stoked but now I just want to reach the podium. I was um, I was quite surprised with the progress that you made after the first main crash. Like you said it was an easy track not many guys were doing different things but I felt like you got through the field like really quickly. Did you surprise yourself? I did a little bit <laughs> yes. Uh, I was catching them uh, especially in the first main in the Wolves but then main two and main three they got super gnarly for some reason like dry and edgy and uh, but yeah I, main two and three my starts were a little bit better but still if I want to run with the guys, they got to be top five at least, you know. You say you're like a little bit disappointed with fifth, but I guess that's where your expectations have changed now. Like, like you say, a year ago, you would have been stoked with a fifth, but now your mind's set on podium and that's the only thing that's going to make you happy. I mean, it's a different perspective, obviously, because <laughs> when you qualify, like usually like second or third, like today I was 0 0.3 of jet and first, you know, so you know you have the speed. So whereas before, like I was usually like fifth, sixth and qualifying. So I'm like, oh, OK, I'll shoot for a top five. But now I know I have what it takes. You know, it's just got to put the pieces together. Is it um, is it just starts that you feel like you need to improve to run with the podium guys? Or is there somewhere else on the track that you feel like you need to take a step forward? It's funny because uh, the first few races, especially like San Diego, like I got I got super good starts. But then like I was uh, I, I had never been in that position, so I was super worried and uh, trying so hard that my fitness was super bad, you know? And then now, like, I have everything, but I'm not, I don't have the starts, you know? So I gotta put it all together for one race. So hopefully we have three more races to go, so we'll see. And um, last thing, like I say, obviously you've made massive steps forward this year. Are you starting to see more attention in the pits from other teams, other people? Like, is this starting to build into something? I don't know if I can really say that, <laughs> but oh. yeah, I, I mean, yeah, for sure, yes. And I got a feature, feature on the TV today with my uh, brother-in-law, <laughs> which was cool, Phil. <laughs>